In this video, I want to look at the biggest future trends in agriculture and food production. If we want to thrive on this planet, we must completely reimagine agriculture and food production. As a futurist, I help companies and industries understand the future trends and the impact of technology and, and how societies are, are, are changing. And basically, to feed this growing global population, there are estimates that we will have to increase food production by as much as 68% by 2050. We are also seeing an increase in the middle class population across the world, which usually means an increased demand for meat. These are huge challenges for our already struggling planet. The food system overall accounts for up to 26% of total global greenhouse gas emissions. So let's look at some of the key trends that will help us reimagine the entire ecosystem of agriculture and food production. For me, the first one is that we need to reimagine farming and the farming methods we use. Um, new farming methods could help industry reduce its environmental impact while still increasing productivity. We've seen previous evolutions in farming that have largely been driven by mechanical improvements, namely bigger and better machinery or genetic advances like better seed or more effective fertilizers. The next big transformation is being driven by digital tools. For example, we have automation, including the use of robots, drones and autonomous tractors that make farming more efficient. We also have precision farming, which involves applying irrigation, fertilizers and pesticides at variable rates only where and when it is actually needed. The other key trends to watch in farming methods include a more localized urban farming. So for example, food uh, being produced closer to where people need it and will buy it and theref therefore reducing food miles. There's a big move towards vertical farming, the practice of growing crops in vertical layers and hydrophonics, which is growing plants in nutrient-rich water. Both of these use much less water, soil and space than traditional field farming methods. And hopefully all of them will help us to make farming and food production more productive and more sustainable. The second big trend that I'm seeing is that we need to find different ways to produce food and especially meat. If you think about this, one third of croplands around the world are used to grow feed for livestock rather than feed humans. And the obvious and simplest solution would be to, for us all to move to a plant-based diet. And actually removing meat and dairy from our diet is the single most impactful way for you to reduce your environmental impact. The challenge obviously is that meat and dairy is ingrained in so many cultures and it's I think naive to believe that we'll all switch to become vegan. So one option that I'm seeing or two options, one is cultured or lab, lab grown meat that I think is really important. And then there's a big movement towards plant based meats. So for example, Burger King now has plant based burgers on their menu. Many restaurants are moving towards that. And we've seen this with this massive um, IPO of, of plant-based pioneer um, Beyond Meat that went public for $1.5 billion and then three months later was, was valued at over $13 billion. So in fact, estimates suggest that meat alternatives could account for, uh, for around 10% of the global meat industry by 2029. The other big thing I'm really excited about is cultured meat, which basically is genetically exactly the same as real meat, but it is produced from animal cells. Um, real meat, for me, without the factory farms and animal slaughter sounds like a pretty good idea. So 
It's still early days for this industry, but in 2020, Singapore became the first nation to approve cultured meat for sale. And I think 3D printing has also a role to play in food production. For example, Barcelona-based startup Nova Meat has already successfully created the world's first 3D printed piece of meat that apparently mimics the fibrous nature of real meat. 3D printing also allows us to personalize our food. Sushi Singularity, a restaurant in Tokyo, has the goal of basically 3D printing our sushi using cultured meat and other ingredients to create food that is nutritionally exactly catered for our needs. So for me, these are really interesting trends that are happening, really important trends that will help us hopefully become a more sustainable world in the future. If you want to learn more about any of these future trends, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website where you can find many more articles on many of these trends. And you might also want to check out my book, my book Business Trends in Practice, that looks at all of these trends in a lot more detail.